What's good? What's good? Welcome to the Epic Entertainment Critics. I am Antoine. And I'm still James. And we bring you a epic, sorry, epic movie review <laughs> on Jungle Cruise. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Emily Blunt, and um, others. What's the other big name? I uh, forget. I mean, wasn't that uh, Paul G. <laughs> Paul Giamatti, <laughs> Jesse Plemons, Edgar. And, uh, uh, Edgar Ramirez. Edgar Ramirez. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm forgetting somebody, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, this is Disney Jungle Cruise, and we'll be doing a review. But before we do that, got an intro. All right, all right. We have returned for Disney's Jungle Cruise, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all. We this ain't gonna be long. Uh, <laughs> if you're used to our reviews, our reviews usually about like 20 minutes or so. Uh, we did one, and uh, technical difficulties. This is our second time reviewing this, so if we keep it a little short, forgive us. <laughs> we already been through the rigmarole, so we don't really have the uh, that fresh that fresh review energy. Yeah. So. So look, Jungle Cruise, man, it's what it's looked like. The end. No. <laughs> but no, this is a movie, man. Dwayne The Rock Johnson plays um, a captain skipper of a boat um, on uh, in the, what, where was they at? In the Amazon. The Amazon. Yeah. And he's, um, he has, uh, he's a boat, he got his own boat or whatever. And Emily Blunt is like a... Um, Archaeologist or something, Adventure, like kind of like an, an amateur adventurer. Yeah, you know. <laughs> right. I mean, I guess she's looking for some kind of treasure. Or, no, she's she's looking for something. Yeah. A MacGuffin. Yeah. Uh, and of course, she needs to hire the boat to go down the Amazon to get it. And there, you know, that's where the rock come in. And he's um, the, your cool protagonist. Which he's three hundred pound all muscle in nineteen nineteen, which yeah. doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> in a place where the average height is five five, <laughs> but no. Um, so um, they own this adventure, and this plays out like every Disney adventure movie. It's 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 got all the shenanigans, the music, and we said this before. This is pretty much a mesh of Indiana Jones, Pirates of the Caribbean, and the Mummy. Yeah. Those, all take all those franchises, yeah. put them in a pot, blend yeah. it up, cook it up, you know, and then out comes Jungle Pretty much Cruise. every <laughs> every adventure hero that came after Alan Quartermain blended into one yep, movie. Yep, 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 yep. So, because they borrowed everything from all those movies. Yeah. All the elements. So, Emily Black character, the adventurer lady, has a brother. He's kind of bumbling. Yeah. Um, and he's the comic relief of the, the crew, yeah. you know. Just like on the mummy, you yeah. know. <laughs> the Rock is basically uh, uh, what's your boy's name from the Mummy? Um, yeah, um, Brandon Fraser. Brandon character. Fraser character. Yeah, you know, tough guy. Even got the knows, suspenders. Yeah, tough guy who knows his <laughs> job, makes bad jokes at bad times. Oh man, yeah. yeah. You said bad jokes. They did that, man. It was something. I don't know why they thought this was going to work, but the Rock. Start throwing out dad jokes, bad yeah. puns, and it was okay if you just did, you know, if he did just like one or two or whatever. Yeah. He kept going, rapid fire, huh. pun after pun, and it was almost like, oh, oh, they they self aware. He's even people in the movie saying he's horrible at telling jokes or whatever. But why you? Why did they just keep going with it? And 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 they'll like cheat, that was the joke. They'll cheat like tense moments with a dad joke. Yeah. Like, he was, <laughs> <laughs> the one in there, man, it's like it was horrible. Yeah, the jokes was like, like, okay, Rock, not stop. Yeah. It's not funny no more, dude. Like, <laughs> you just e need to every, stop. Everyone wants you to stop, and they've all made you aware. Just yeah. stop. <laughs> I'm betting there was somebody on set, like, bro, that's not in the script. Yeah, uh, yeah. What was that? Um, you see, the, the there was a two cans. They two. Uh, oh, uh, I don't know what he said. Uh, <laughs> here you'll uh, see t uh, a pair of two cans uh, engaging in their favorite sport, beak wrestling. The only downside, of course, is that only two can play. But look, the, when when people don't respond, he'll try to explain it. 
You know, because they, like, they, those are two cans. I don't need you to explain yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get the joke. Yeah. It just ain't fun. Yeah. Just, just stop. <laughs> like, a kid even says, Mommy, make him stop. Yeah. Like, and that was funny. Yeah. But the, none of the jokes were funny. So, which, I mean, there was kind of a point where they was like, oh, he just, he's corny, he don't know. Or he corny, he don't care. Because he's so big and you yeah. don't really challenge him. Like, what, like, because what, what do you do? What do you do against that man? All right. If you so, ain't ready to kill him, you can't stop him from doing that damn right. thing. <laughs> so they they follow the same formula as all these Disney uh, movies, like um, Pirates of the Caribbean. And, uh, and I was like, okay, they went so far as to even give us the same kind of music. Yeah. I got the I got a little clip on with like the music and some of those shit. when when shenanigans happen, falling off ladders, jumping through windows, yeah. you know. Uh, so there's a little clip of some of the shenanigans and listen to the music, please. <laughs> Turn starboard and resume ending. What? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I told you, man, that music, boy, it was, they played yeah. that a lot. <laughs> and, you know, another thing that occurs to me they took straight from Pirates of the Caribbean, right, is they got this thing where uh, here, here's your adventurer doing some adventurer stuff. Uh-huh. Watch them fail to do their adventurer stuff. <laughs> like, everything The Rock tries to pull off fails. Yeah, that was, uh, that was kind of, I guess that's kind of the story. I mean, kind of the, the the thing is with his character, where he's not no, he's not a I do everything right protagonist. Yeah, he's a <laughs> protagonist like that also, got the, the mess up a lot. Right, but also like that makes it even more glaring. With your action hero is a six foot six, <laughs> you know, three hundred some odd pound dude uh, who, who cannot be stopped <laughs> except by himself. Yeah, <laughs> like. That's the comedy of it, right? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> supposed to be, but it's not. <laughs> See, and I was saying that other people said that they was they was uh, like the Rock in here, and I was like, I think he was just kind of miscast. This kind of role is more built for uh, action, but more comedic yeah. actor. That's why I, I had suggested maybe somebody like Chris Pratt or somebody, somebody that can pull off both, yeah. you know. Uh, and the Rock got a lot of charisma though. Um, as a leading man, because if he in a movie that he can't just be a side character, yeah. but it's just that the way they played it, it he need it need, had to be somebody that can play off the the comedic, the com- use the com- yeah. be more with the comedic side, you know. Because uh, later on uh, yesterday, I ended up talking to somebody about this movie who had just seen it, and so like I think The Rock is great. Okay, but do you like his character? Or do you like The Rock? <laughs> right, you know, because like that was always my thing on Suicide Squad with Will Smith. I like Will Smith in that movie. Yeah. I hate him as Deadshot. Yeah, <laughs> he know? didn't fit. The, he didn't fit the character. You know, and I don't think The Rock <clears throat> fits this character. I think yeah. he's great in this movie because he's great. Right, but I don't think he's a good fit for this. Yeah, so I mean, it played out like all the stuff you thought it played yeah. out, and you know all the shenanigans and all that. Which is, some of it was fun, and then some of it, it, it one it was a bit too long. Uh, this movie's two hours, a little, little over two hours, like yeah. two hours, five minutes. And honestly, fine at 90. Yeah, right. If, if they would have kept it a tight 90, it would have been a lot funner because it, it kind of it didn't drag. It just they, they had some uh, – because this is kind of like a rom-com um, mixed with adventure yeah. <clears throat> because they had them kind of – I don't want to say falling in love, but they was uh, getting closer. Yeah. Which they do in these movies, but they played that element a little – Kind of straight as they, they would a in a rom com, huh? They did a little will they won't they kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then, and then since they both so they actually kind of good together. They both was kind of so good together that I was seeing um, some good elements of acting there with Emily Blunt and um, uh, The Rock had some chemistry. Yeah, you know. Um, but after a while, it's like okay, everything else is just turning this into uh, you know. Uh, just a silly, no, dumb adventure movie, like like it is. Yep. <laughs> but out of all that former leg, silly adventure movie, I did see a little hint of acting. Um, it was a couple scenes where him and Emily Blunt had like a sincere moment. 
Yeah. And it actually felt a little something there. So I give them points for that. Yeah. But uh, other than that, other characters that really gave us a, a good show was Jesse Plemons' character. <laughs> Je- Jesse Plemons came in. And he plays this, uh, I guess, German. Uh, what was? I, wasn't Brent, he like a a, a German uh, or something? Yeah, because at that time, wasn't it like a like a royal thing? I guess before yeah the Nazi because this is before the Nazi party. Right. But they was this is like he pretty much was a Nazi, but they just this is like he he, he plays the same role as the Nazis do yeah. and He's Indiana crazy, Jones evil like uh, extravagant German character. Yeah, yeah. but Jesse Plemons as he do plays. Very creepy roles, yeah. But he was over the top German. Yeah, <laughs> like they told him what this movie was like. Okay, so look, I'm just gonna play. Yeah, and um, and it worked. It, it worked. <laughs> he was he stole every scene he was in. <laughs> how are so and Chunkel, How are you enjoying it? <laughs> the jungle. The what? <laughs> the jungle. <laughs> the, the forest. The trees. The jungle. <laughs> like I love him in this. Like. Because at no point does he ever think, you know what, I'm going to dial this back. You know, I'm, I'm going to just ease off that accent a little bit. It's like, nah, I'm, I'm going in. That was the chango. <laughs> He's like, can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> Spell that. <laughs> you know, the chango. <laughs> you know, like, he, like, even his own men are sitting there like, oh, is this really what we're doing now? Is this, is this how we get down? So I had to throw this scene in there, even though this was a little goofy scene. Mm. And this is one of them where you were saying The Rock, he wasn't good at most stuff that they yeah. had played play him as. Uh, so they got the little scene. It was in the trailer, but you didn't know how it ended, right? Frank, Wait, this Frank is get the, it. Hold on. Come on. This is the classic swing with the girl I saver. It, I don't got it. <laughs> Trying to get traction. This is ridiculous. Oh, no, Just leave me alone. That was a disaster. You're too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's like, I'm so, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> and I'm sure she's the one that's too heavy as well. Yeah. Right? No, you're yeah. too heavy? <laughs> like, you 300 pounds. She, what are you she, talking about? She's maybe 120 soaking wet. <laughs> but, but she's too heavy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Sure. But, so, um, yeah, that's just kind of what you get with yeah. this movie. Which, you know... It's kind of expected, you know. Nobody really thought that they was going to come and get, a, which did, like, nobody thought they were going to get something that they right. didn't see in the trailer. So yeah. I'm cool with that. Like, I, I do think it's a bit of a black mark on this film that my favorite things about this movie, other than Jesse Plemons, are things that aren't, like, necessarily good. Like, uh, Paul Giamatti, you know, yeah. <laughs> just ha- came in to ham it up. Yeah, he yeah. He basically did the Spanish version of his uh, Russian accent. Right. You know. <laughs> but then it's some scene when he had to scream, Fuck! it's like, wait, uh, that, 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 that accent just yeah, left. Because <laughs> like, like with his Spanish accent isn't good, but it's strong enough that you wouldn't know if you were, weren't looking at him. That's Paul yeah. Giamatti. When he says, Frank! Yeah, like, I know. It's like, what? Paul wait, Giamatti? That's not how that would sound. But anyway... All right, let's wrap it up. Yeah. So, uh, Jungle Cruise, man, it was what you think it was, a silly Disney movie uh, with a lot of cliche moments. Yeah. Um, you know, you could, might say some of the rock charisma could save it, or it's, you know, <laughs> but Your not really. It's, it's like, you know, it's uh, Pirates of the, first Pirates of the Caribbean, I actually liked them. As they went on, I was like, okay, I'm out. <laughs> And um, but it it did its job right. It, it entertained right. kids and it got butts in the seats. But it, it's the same as that, yeah. you know. Um, so if you liked all the other Pirates of the Caribbean besides, just the, or if you liked all the Pirates of the Caribbean, oh, you'll love this. You're right. You'll like yeah. this because this just continued where that left off. Yeah. You know, shenanigans, uh, silly moments, and you know, uh, same old, same old. So. Frank is the new Captain Jack. Yeah, <laughs> if he's not. He, he can't compare to no. Jack Sparrow, though. No. no. Anyway, so uh, uh, yeah, this movie. Uh, my rating is, uh, yeah, I, I, I give it. I'm gonna give it all right because uh, I thought it was all right enough yeah. um, to um, to carry the weight of a um, another sequel to Pirates of the Caribbean. So yeah. I feel like okay, it's on that. It's on par with that. So I'm cool with it. Uh, Emily Blunt did good. The Rock did pretty good. So it was all right. So I give it all right. That's my rating. What'd you give it? <laughs> uh, it's not bad enough for a hot garbage. It's not good enough for a dope. 
I would give it a whack, but Jesse Plemons is too entertaining in this movie for me not to bump that up to an eye. <laughs> you know, and to be fair, it's not a whack movie. It, it's yeah. it's okay if you need something to take the kids to see. They'll love it. Mm-hmm. Like we said, if you like Pirates of the Caribbean, you'll like it. Uh, it's an all right movie from yep. top to bottom. Yeah. All right. So uh, that is our review for Jungle Cruise. Uh, we are out of here. Thanks for checking us out. If you like our reviews, if you like our videos, Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you get alerts every time we post new videos or if we live stream. And don't forget to like and comment. Yes, we out of here. Peace. Peace.